Hello everyone, and welcome to our new series, The Archangels Variation. Archangel, or in English, or Archangels in Russian, is a city close to the White Sea, or on a river close to the White Sea in Russia, and there where this variation, I assume, came from, played by many leading Russian chess players, or long ago leading, but even today quite a popular by very strong players. Mainly we can find Bilyavsky, Melanyuk, Mikhail Chishin, but also Shirov has been using this variation and many other strong players. The variation goes in the way Lopez. This is all, of course, the very basic position. And instead of bishop e7, which is, uh, let's call it the classical one or the main one, depends how you want to look at it, b5, bishop to b3. And here there are two moves. The archangel's variation is bishop to b7, which is the topic of our series. Another move, which many positions actually transpose from one another and not far away is, Bishop c5, which is the Moler defense, played by actually extremely strong player. This Bishop c5 was played by Anan, Kazimdanov, Topalov, Adams, many, many strong players and many more. The problem with Bishop b7 is that some lines, as we will see, are very deeply analyzed and might be drawish. Well, some players definitely those 2750 and above don't want to play such Jewish lines. So, bishop b7. Black's idea is very logical. I, I actually personally a big uh, 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 fond of this type of play for black if he does play the e5. Instead of having a passive bishop on e7 with d6, which of course played by all the strong players in the world, so God forbid, I'm not saying it's uh, anything wrong with that. That would be foolish. But it looks that black can try and get more active play with either bishop b7 or bishop c5. And indeed, the type of game is absolutely wilder, much more interesting, the way I believe and see it. And let's start and look at the possibilities. d3 might transpose in some situations to bishop c5. We might, we might touch it very, very lightly. The two moves that I want us to look today are the most direct ones. d4, immediately saying black king is in the center, at least for another move, because the bishop is on f8, so two moves to castle, white trying to break as quickly as he possibly can in the center. The other move, which is not really a serious one, is knight g5 going after f7. The main move is c3 in this position. Trying to play d4, but since, and we are going to see it in very, very uh, few minutes, since after d4, knight takes d4 is black's main reply, and according to theory, black looks very okay. C3 is the idea, with after knight take e4, d4, and extremely complicated positions. This is going to be actually the main, the, the heart of this series, this position. C3, knight takes e4, 